I was trying to figure out what am I gonna do with just some simple pantry items that I already had on hand, and I decided I'm gonna try some black bean and lime veggie burgers. So let's see how they go. So we're using one can of black beans, and after rinsing and draining them, you just mash them with a fork. Now, if you have a potato masher, or if you wanna do it in a food processor or a high-speed blender, that's great. But if you don't, that's fine. You probably have a fork. So after you have them mashed, make sure and wash off four green onions and just chop them. Dump that right in. Now we're gonna use some spices because why not? Spices make it delicious. So we're going to use a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. You can use more or less depending on how you like your spice. We're gonna use a teaspoon of the other ingredients. So I'm gonna use some ground cumin. So about a teaspoon of this, and it doesn't have to be exact. About a teaspoon of garlic powder. Teaspoon of that. And then I'm just going to use just a dash of pepper and a dash of Salt. I'm using sea salt, but you can use whatever you want. Now it's time for our lime. So I'm going to use both the zest of the lime and the juice of the lime. So again, doesn't have to be precise in terms of your measurement. Just add in a little zest. Mmm, this smells so good. And then you can use the juice. You can just use it with your hands, or I also happen to have one of these little lemon and lime juicers. Squeeze it in like that. You just slice it in half and do each half at a time. Slice it like this and press it. Just kind of helps you get more of the juice out without getting any seeds in. And now in place of an egg, we're gonna make a chia egg. So if you have flaxseed, you could use ground flaxseed. I happen to have chia seeds on hand. So I'm going to do two tablespoons of chia seed and six tablespoons of water. And that is about the equivalent of two eggs in terms of its binding. And six tablespoons of water. Three, four, five, six. And you just stir that up a little bit and wait. And that becomes a little bit gluey and that acts as the binder. So once you've let your chia seeds and water sit for a little bit, like five to 10 minutes, it starts to get gluey, sort of gelatinous. So now is the time to add that into the bowl. This is so easy. I love that it uses so few ingredients and things that I just happen to have on hand. So once you do that, you're just gonna stir that all up and after you have it incorporated, you're gonna put it into the fridge. Put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes so that it's gonna make it easier to handle. And while it's in the fridge, go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Now, I like parchment paper. This is the kind I use because I'm trying to cook without oil and the parchment paper keeps it from sticking to the pan, but you don't need to use any oil. But if you don't care about oil and um, you'd rather just oil your pan, you don't have parchment paper on hand, you can do that. Or you can use oil and cook them in a skillet on the stove but I'm gonna try baking them. Once you take it out of the refrigerator, you just divide it into four and you're going to make four patties just using your hands. Hands are easy, hands are free. So you just roll them into a little ball and place them on your baking tray. And here are your four patties ready to go into the oven for 30 minutes. And once they are finished, you can serve them up any way you like. I'm going to have mine very simply over some greens and I'm gonna to top it with a little avocado and I'm gonna to top it with a little Dijon mustard and just a dash of sriracha sauce for a little kick. Does that look good? And now for the taste test. Mmm, get a little bit of mustard on that. Mmm, 
delicious and they were so easy. And if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go finish this yummy lunch. I'm Stacy Harris, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.